I love you and only you, baby. Hey, I'm ready now. Wake up, wake up, somebody's sending you back. Somebody's sending you back. Okay, I'll hit you with the simple bass. You got it? Yeah, bass guitar. I just Saturday night live. Tyson Robbins asked for this from right here. And um, Tyson, my main man, it's his birthday week. So we celebrating Tyson Robbins' birthday all week. Happy birthday to you. You, you, you. Without any further ado, let's check this bad boy. <laughs> Midday news. Welcome back to WANU Midday News. Coming up, the mayor's office announced a bold new plan to revamp the city's infrastructure. And it's about time. But first, yet another gas station has fallen prey to an armed robbery. A Shell station in the 4,000 block of Pulaski Highway was robbed around 11.45 a.m. this morning, making that a total of seven gas stations to be attacked in the last week. Ooh, scary stuff. And we're told the suspect remains at large, but authorities believe they now have a credible description of the perp. The suspect, described as a white male... Ooh, love it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, what? what? What are you two celebrating? Oh, nothing. We're just glad that we know what the criminal looks like. <laughs> and he ain't one of us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Anyway, the suspect the white guy. <laughs> was last spotted fleeing the scene on foot. So anyone with this information is being asked to contact the MPD immediately. Yes, help us catch this white criminal. <laughs> In other news, a Ponzi scheme has shaken some of Miami's wealthiest residents. That's one of y'all for show. <laughs> Clement Smith of Clement Smith Investment Securities is accused of committing this egregious white collar crime. Right there in the name. <laughs> Smith right the is name. said to have been operating a multi billion dollar Ponzi scheme. No, you know black people ain't got that kind of money. <laughs> he was arrested this morning in Boca Raton. <laughs> oh! And look at that. Dang! He's black. Really? What? Okay. okay. So okay. I guess we tied, you know. <laughs> one of we ours tied. for one of yours. No, I, this is ridiculous. No one's keeping score. Okay. We have an update on that tropical storm we've been tracking. Let's hear from WANU weatherman Dennis Jones. Dennis? Thanks, Pam. What we've previously been calling a tropical storm has upgraded to a Category 4 hurricane. It's destroying just about everything in its path with its incredibly high winds. Now, we're calling this one Hurricane Chet, and that's a white man's name if I've ever heard one. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! And that makes two of y'all... <laughs> we the lead, baby! Back in the game! Uh, gang, gang! <laughs> no way! That doesn't count. Hurricanes up, aren't white. Well, unless they name Chet. Right. <laughs> okay, can we move on from this petty game, please? Oh, because y'all losing? Okay, how, how, how convenient. Y'all losing, okay, so let's wanna move on. Okay, let's get back to the news. A Fort Lauderdale man was apprehended outside of a... Cracker Barrel? <laughs> for cutting brake lines on a dozen bird scooters. Well, see, only white people got that kind of time, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. He's white. So what? So now we're down to one. 
It's not looking good for y'all today. <laughs> In other news, a shopper was apprehended by security at Oceanside Mall for assaulting a man who stepped on his Air Jordans. You know that's... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh-oh, uh, you know Did that. Did you say Air Jordans? Oh, uh, <laughs> that's black for sure. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you know, I knew it as soon as I saw it. Right. Okay, okay, and how about this one? A local woman attacked a cashier at a nail shop after they refused to take her welfare card. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Police say they're looking for a 19-year-old white... Damn it! Woo! That's three, baby! Okay. All right. Oh, my Let's God. Let's get that back. Police say a Latino man... Ah, uh -uh, skip no. that one. We don't need that. <laughs> skip that. Skip okay, that how one. About, how about this? How about a man on a rock climbing yeah. trip was mauled by a bison for the second time in three months? See, y'all don't learn. Y'all don't like to learn. Okay, just keep learn. reading. Keep reading. This <laughs> incident happened in the Utah National State Park. Ugh, not looking good. <laughs> Family of the man now identified as Laquan Jenkins. Yes! <laughs> Baby, what are you doing? What an upset. A Laquan rock climbing in Utah? That's okay, we still tied up, baby. We tied up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, next one takes it. Okay. A man, man dressed it. as the Joker. Oh, Damn it! Hey. That's it, baby. That's it. You know what that was. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Oh, my God. A man dressed up as the Joker. Y'all know what time it is on that. I hope everybody can just laugh at these racial jokes and everything because, you know, on this channel, we don't see no color. <laughs> you know, there is a difference, but it don't make a difference. <laughs> Not to me. Hey, look here. Tyson Roberts asked for that one right there. Saturday Night Live, baby. I used to watch that thing to death when my brother was alive because he wouldn't let me change the channel. <laughs> yeah, take it like take it slow. Tell him Mike Cross. Told you so. so, 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 so. Peace out.